Yeah, I'm not a Trinitarian. I do believe that Jesus is a manifestation of God in the flesh. I just I do not affirm the belief that the Holy Spirit is a separate person outside it. And the reason for that is because if you exegete properly, it doesn't quite match up. Go to the objection of why the Spirit is not. I got you. So I got you. I'm getting to it. So you get you get the bet, the resh, and the sheet, or in the tav, right? It's the bet is a tent, the resh is a man, and the tav is a, is a cross that seals everything. Therefore, there's the, if you believe that he's the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, meaning he is the beginning. That's why Genesis doesn't say at the beginning. It says in the beginning, God created. My, 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 my first question will be to you is, if you believe that Jesus is the word of God, where was Jesus before God spoke? Jesus is the one who spoke creation into being. Can't but be. He can't, he can't, can't be the word. <laughs> can, I, can I get there? <laughs> You can laugh. I don't know why. You laugh at scripture. That shows me demonization. I'm not laughing. laughing. I'm laughing at your interpretation. Can I get to your answer? First of all, let me correct you on your mistaken notion of the Holy Spirit. John 16, 12 to 13. Can I answer you step by step? You really want me to answer you? I'm with you. Demonization. John 16, 12 to 13. And then mm -hmm. I'm going to sue you on Genesis 1 because you butchered it, trying to go into Gematria as if you know Gematria, but that's okay. John 16, 12 to 13. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whoever he hears, he will speak. So who is he hearing from? Who is who is Jesus hearing from right here? No, the Come spirit on. of truth that in John 14, 26 is said to be the Holy Spirit. Who does the Holy Spirit hear from? He hears from, this. Like that's the thing, I can't answer that question the way you want me to, because no, I'm not saying that the Holy Spirit is separate from God. He hears from the Father. I didn't ask that question. I'm asking you basic. It says he hears from someone. He I, understand. From I understand. He hears from the Father. The Father is the one that sent his Spirit. So who's he hearing from? The Father, the one who sent his Spirit. Oh, so the Spirit hears from the Father. Yes. So that so means the Father speaks to the Spirit? He can if he wants to commute with his own Spirit. Definitely. Oh, okay. So, and then the Spirit speaks on whose behalf? On the Father. It's the same person. It's the oh, same being. Oh, wait. So let's go with the same person. So the Father. No, the same being. Going, same being. Same being. We're going to go. Everything that I said. Same person right? and same being. Same person and same being. It's not okay, separate. Let's go with the same person. It's not so separate. The father, <laughs> you're talking over me. You know, that means you're scared. If the Father sends himself in a different mode and then speaks to himself and hears from himself and then communicates what he said to himself in a different mode. Is that what okay, I got you. When he was speaking to the person who he heard from was the Holy Spirit, a person sitting next to Jesus talking to him in his ear. What are you talking about? Why exactly. When you're saying that the Holy Spirit heard from the Father who sent him, right? And he's communicated with Jesus in this particular passage. Oh, I didn't say he was talking, he was talking to in this particular passage. Who he was that. talking to? Okay. Say, you're saying someone is hearing and another person is hearing from someone else and communicating yeah, with someone else. So is who's that hearing? person that's hearing and communicating, is he in another body? Sitting directly Why next to somebody, to body to hear in his ear because that's what Trinitarians you're not believe. Listening they believe to my answer. I the know Holy Spirit is a body. Who says he needs a body to hear? Stop butchering the text. Because so you need question. ears to hear. <laughs> Why does he need to have a body to hear? He needs ears to hear in eardrums, in airways. Psalm 94 9 says you're lying because God hears and he doesn't have ears. Psalm 94, verse 9. He has a body oh, and he yeah. has ears. You're quoting that out of context. It's out of context. You want to bet? What kind of body does God have? He has a spiritual body. Prove it. Sean's been proving it to We're you all night. Man 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 Sean got buried man like you made in his image. image. Prove it. We're made in his no. image. Oh my goodness, dude. Go all to right, Dennis. We're made in his image. I just proved it to you, Goofy. Okay, but the woman is in God's image. So oh, no, the woman is not in God's not image. Hold on, Dylan. Hold on. Dylan, Dylan, I let you talk. Dylan, Dylan. Genesis 1 26. Let me get it. Let me get it. Dylan, let me get it. Dylan, Dylan, let him work, man. Let him cook, man. Dylan. Uh, Sam, I disagree with that 100%. The woman is not made in God's image. The woman is made in man's image, as Paul says. <laughs> okay. First of all, before you run to Genesis 2, which will be your burial, just be patient. There, when it says man, the word Adam, who is mm -hmm. the Adam that he made? Uh, Adam, Ish. No, it's the word Ish is not there. See, that shows you you don't know Hebrew. That's in Genesis 2. Here, it's oh. Adam. Who is the Adam that he made? The man, Adam. Adam, uh, Adam. Finish it. Male and female. That's why in Genesis 5, 2, it says he named That's them it. both Adam. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, because there's two clauses. Sam, Sam, no, they weren't. There's two clauses here. Can you open up Genesis no, 5, no. 2? Look at me. Look at me. Look at me, Sam. He no, made yo, 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 yo,
Yo, what? chill, relax. You're you're too loud right now. Genesis Hold fight, on. yeah. Stop. Man, talk over all the time. Calm I'm just down, dude. You're Genesis the only one who's talking over somebody right now. Relax. Genesis five two in the King James to school this guy that they're both called Adam. Genesis five two. Okay, tell me what the, God named them, male and female. What was their name on the day they were created? Verse two. Read it for me. I'm sorry. What happened? Repeat the question. Genesis five verse two on the day he created male and female. What did he, what was their name? What was their name? Give it to me. Read it. It's right there. Ahadam. Read it, dude. Can't you read the English? I can, but what you're asking me isn't. Can you read the word? Well, I'll read it. Male what and you're asking female. Me is it said right here in the scripture? Male and <laughs> you're female. Imposed, you're female. Yeah. Male and female created them. Keep talking over the word of God and blessed yeah. them and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. So was the female called Adam? I'm sorry. What are you talking about right now? Wait, wait, wait. They Male did. and female created he them. Yes. And blessed them and called their name Adam in the day. Of the day. I, I didn't say that. Female Adam. I didn't say that. I didn't say what you said. Did he call the female Adam? I didn't say that. No. Sam, it's only because they were one flush. No, 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 no. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. He what called he call the female. female? No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I misspoke. Yes, he called he called the male and female Adam. Yes. Oh, and this is now reverting back to Genesis 1. So let's go back to my point. Let's go. When he created male and female, both mm -hmm. of them were created in his image. No. Uh, verse 1. Wait, wait, wait. Don't go anywhere. It's right there in verse 1. Wait, no. no. This, no, is the book. this is the book of the generations of Adam. And the day that God created man, the word is Adam. This and is the word of them. God made he him. Male and female created he them. And blessed them and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. Yes, the female with the male is in the image of God. No, it's no. She was, called, no. She was called Adam. Because the female Adam. was built later. Did the female come out of man? Yes, yes. but Did not she at have the, the same, same nature of man. Well done. Did she have the same flesh. nature? Of yes, flesh. The same name, the same nature. Yes. Okay, so flesh. wait. So even if we go with your perverted logic, if the man, the male, by the mm -hmm. way, woman just tells you their view of women. Stay away from right. these guys. Right. If the male is created in the image of God, but the female comes out of him. Hold on. If she's flesh of his flesh, bone of his bones, and she's one flesh with him, that means if he's the image of God and she came out of the image of God, that means she's the image of God. No, Whoa, means she's, no she means she's the image of man. <laughs> it means she's made in the image of man. No, no. no she's the image of man. May I respond now? May I respond? Let's scroll down. Let's scroll down. Can you read three to show that if you come out of Adam, then you're in the image of Adam, therefore the image of God? So if you come out of Adam, you are in the image of Adam and therefore the image of God. Here you go. And Adam lived. 130 years and begot a son in his own likeness after his image and he called his name Seth. Now refute this. We go back to Genesis 1, right? It says he created man, man, mankind, the species, a new species, right? He created man, Adam, Ahadam. Then he said male and female. He separated them by not then. He's saying what he did because if you go and you read the other creation books like Enoch, like Jubilees, you understand that like woman, we go, we go man. Then he said he, he made them Ish and Isha. That's it's, Genesis it's, it's not their it's not their names. It's man. Genesis two. That's not what I quote. I quoted Genesis. What was their name? You started in Genesis one, my guy. You started in Genesis one twenty six. Am I right? Exactly what you did. Genesis five. Reiterate Genesis one that they're both called Adam. Yes or no? They're called mankind. Yes, I said that. Okay, so then get to the point. If they're both called Adam, then the Adam that was created in Genesis one. That wasn't Genesis. their name. So wait, in New Testament, when the male is said to be Adam. When it says Adam, sin, that's not his name? That's his species, mankind. His no, name is talking Ish. about the male in yes. Romans 5, 12 yes. to 21. So is that male called Adam? Is that his name? What male? Open up Romans 5, 12 for this guy. Thank you. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. For unto law, the law, sin was in the world, but sin is not imputed when there is no law. For nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses. So is Moses yep. a name? Is Moses a name? Yes, that's Moses' name. Adam to Moses. Who's that Adam? Adam is the first man, Ish. So what is his name? <laughs> his name is Ish. He's male. Adam. That's the Can first man. Can you show me where it says Ish there? Genesis 4, verses 1 and 2. Eve is her name, right? Yes. Eve is okay, her name. Okay, what is his name? Adam. I said so that. So you now agree Adam is his name? I said that. No, you didn't. He was a, yes, I did. Whoa. No, you did. Yes, Whoa. I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Whoa. You're not listening. Your entire argument this entire time is that Adam's name is not Adam, it's Ish. Adam refers to his nature as mankind. He's man.
That's what you were saying. So now you're admitting that his name is Adam? 